Hello and welcome to this class called Introduction to Physical Activity. Now I'm going to start by giving you some facts that I've gotten from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. Strenuous physical activity is not needed to achieve health benefits. Men and women of all ages can benefit from a moderate amount of daily physical activity. The same amount of activity can be obtained in longer sessions of moderately intense activities such as 30 minutes of brisk walking, as in shorter sessions of more strenuous activities such as 15-20 minutes of jogging. Additional health benefits can be gained through greater amounts of physical activity. Adults who maintain a regular routine of physical activity that is of longer duration or of greater intensity are likely to derive better and greater benefits. However, because the risk of injury also increases with greater amounts of activity, care should be taken to avoid excessive amounts of exercise. Previously sedentary people who begin physical activity programs should start with short sessions, five to 10 minutes of physical activity and gradually build up to the desired level of activity. As mentioned, physical activity need not be strenuous to achieve health benefits. Adults with chronic health problems, such as heart disease, diabetes, or obesity, or who are at high risk for these conditions should first consult a physician before beginning a new program of physical activity. Men over age 40 and women over age 50 who plan to begin a new program of vigorous activity should consult a physician to be sure they do not have heart disease or other health problems. More than 60% of U.S. adults do not engage in the recommended amount of activity. Approximately 25% of U.S. adults are not active at all. Physical inactivity is more common among women than men, African-American and Hispanic adults than whites, older than younger adults, less affluent than more affluent people, but social support from family and friends has been consistently and positively related to regular physical activity. Now let's talk about why physical activity is important. There are many physiological and psychological rewards to being physically active. A person may increase physical activity and decrease caloric intake in order to lose weight. However, in the event a person did not lose weight, they would still get fitter and therefore help to prevent many health maladies, including being overweight. It has been proven that regular physical activity reduces a person's risk of many diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, osteoporosis, and some cancers. Aside from the physical benefits, physical activity also generally improves a person's mental well-being. Let's look at some other things about physical activity. As mentioned, Regular physical exercise can reduce a person's risk for several diseases and health conditions and improve the overall quality of life. Regular physical activity can help to reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. In physical activity, the heart muscle is strengthened, blood pressure is generally lowered, and high density lipoprotein, HDL, good cholesterol, levels are heightened and bad cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein, LDL levels are reduced. Blood flow is improved and the heart's working capacity is also increased. Regular physical activity reduces body fat, which is associated with hypertension. By reducing body fat, physical activity can help prevent and control non-insulin dependent diabetes. Obesity is also reduced by regular physical activity. This is accomplished by reducing body fat, by building, preserving muscle mass, and improving the body's ability to use calories. With a good diet and regular physical activity, weight control can be achieved and obesity can be prevented. Don't forget, obesity is a risk factor for many diseases. By exercising regularly, back pain can be decreased. Regular exercise will serve to increase muscle strength and endurance 
and improve flexibility and posture, which will in turn help to prevent back pain. Bone loss and osteoporosis can also be prevented through the use of regular exercise. Older people who exercise regularly with weight-bearing exercises are promoting their bone formation and may be preventing age-induced bone loss. Regular physical activity can improve your mood and your self-esteem. Researchers have found that exercise oftentimes reduces depression and anxiety and helps one to better manage stress. Even the development of a disability can be slowed down with the use of regular running and aerobic exercise. Obesity is also reduced by regular physical activity. This is accomplished by reducing body fat, by building preserving muscle mass, and improving the body's ability to use calories. With a good diet and regular exercise activity, weight control can be achieved and obesity can be prevented. Don't forget, obesity is a risk factor for many diseases. I thank you for coming. By the way, my name is Joe Smith and my hypertension is now under control. <laughs>